us of this initiative, which is to um, shed light on the amazing and achievements of female pioneers in Nigeria and across the world. The goal of this masterclass is to breach the gap between industry professionals yeah. and the leaders of mm -hmm. tomorrow, like yourselves. So I'd like to start by introducing our guest speaker, Mrs. Tomi Shumefum, who is a force with over 30 post-qualification experience, 26 of which were in the banking sector. She currently serves as the managing director and CEO of Unity Bank PLC and is a member of various professional bodies. This ranges from the Institute of Directors, Bank Directors Association of Nigeria, and Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, to name a few. Equally with an extensive educational background, Mrs. Shomefo obtained her BED in English language from Obafemi Awolowo University and went on to pursue further education at the Harvard Business School and Columbia University. So with no further ado, I would like to present our esteemed guest, Mrs. Tomi Shomefo, as she speaks to us about her life experiences and touches on the topic of determination. Thank you so much, Mrs. Shomefo, for joining us today. We can't wait to hear from you. So well, it was quite an introduction, didn't it? I thought, um, <laughs> you know, um, I was just going to come and have a chat, which is what I'm going to um, do this evening. We're just going to chat and learn from each other. Um, first of all, let me thank you for inviting me and congratulate you on this great initiative. It's amazing to see um, what your generation is doing. And I'm not saying that to patronize me. Um, you're helping yourselves and you're helping each other. And um, this is a great initiative. I read up on what you sent to me and I'm quite excited to be here. I'm excited to share a few insights and hopefully to get a further peep into your world. <laughs> and as, as we go along, we'll, you know, we'll talk a little bit more about that. And um, I like the topics you've picked. I like the fact that um, you think there is something to learn or something to hear from those of us uh, oldies. And um, I'm excited to be here, I said, and well done. Keep up the good work. And um, if I don't remember to say this, when I finish, I'm honored to be here. Thank you for inviting me. And I hope that this is something that we will continue for many, many more years, even as you grow older. Keep the group together and keep it uh, working. Excuse me, let me just... Okay, so you've asked me to speak on <laughs> determination, which I found um, quite interesting because I know that this group is targeted at uh, future leaders, which I'm sure all of you are, by the grace of God, from the ages of 19 to 30. Am I correct? Am I right? All right. And uh, our own generation popularly call you Gen Z. Am I correct? Yes. And I know that um, we tend to okay. look at you with a little wink because we don't really understand your generation. And we're struggling to understand your generation and to see what really makes you tick, what you're made of. But from my, should I say, <clears throat> a little bit of experience and a peep into people of your age bracket who are my guests this, or should I say my hosts this evening. I have identified a few characteristics which I think are very great. One thing is that your generation is extremely smart. You're obviously more knowledgeable than we were when we were your age. And that's a great thing. That's fantastic. 
as a matter of fact, is something that I admire and I almost envy because you have, it's amazing when we speak, when I speak to people in that age bracket, when I speak to some of you, the insights, the knowledge, the amount of information and even the wisdom that you have is incredible. And sometimes I whisper to myself that I wish when we were your age, we had so much insights. We had, we were so sure of ourselves. One other thing I've seen that you're very bold, you're audacious and the kind of things you do. I mean, I don't think, I can't remember. Let me not say I don't think, I can't remember any one of my friends or me doing anything like what you guys are doing when we were your age. We were too busy just trying to survive and live. So yes, you're bold, you're audacious, and you take on things, which is something that I think is very great about your generation. You're also very inquisitive, extremely inquisitive, and you hardly take no for an answer. You don't take, oh, why is this like this? Like this? Oh, just because. You don't, you are never satisfied with the status quo. Am I describing somebody on this platform? I suppose I am. <laughs> you're, not satisfied with, <laughs> you're not satisfied with the status quo. You want things, you want to know why things are the way they are. And I like the term future leaders because you are the hope that we have for Nigeria. I'm saying all of this to give background to the topic you asked me to, to talk about. One other great thing you have going for you is that you have a lot of time. You're young, you're strong, and you have time to correct your mistakes and even to make mistakes and correct them. Right? So you have a lot of time and by God's grace, you will all live very long and you will live fruitful lives by the grace of God. So yes, yeah. so those are the things that I see that sort of summarize and characterize your um, generation. You're also very innovative. A lot of you are doing different things. You see that, you know, all of you have a side hustle. Even where you don't have a side hustle, you have something, you, you never seem to be satisfied doing just the one thing. You are doing several things at the same time, which is great. So where does determination come into all of this? Um, let's start by, I wonder why you chose that topic because I think Amy, you probably, or the organizers, you chose that topic because you know that and we're going to be talking frankly with each other is that okay i hope that is okay yes i suspect that the reason you chose that topic is because you know that of all the wonderful great things that i've just described about your generation i didn't mention determination <laughs> and i think that is one of the missing pieces that would complement and put together all the great and wonderful qualities that determine the characteristic, or should I say the brand of your generation. So let's start by looking at the word determination. What does it mean to be determined? Several definitions. To be determined means to be resolute, to be convinced, to continue to push something, to continue to try something in spite of failing at it, to be unwavering, to be focused. When you're determined, you're focused, you are, you, you know, you're resolute, you are, <laughs> you're unshaken. I was going to say you're shaking your determination to pursue it. That is determination. You want to pursue it no matter what, and in spite of. That is not something that I have seen very much in your generation. And not that I'm blaming you. It's the way that things have worked out. But guess what? Determination is a life skill. That is the first thing I'm going to say to you. Determination 
is a life skill. Why does it have to be a life skill? You are a privileged generation. Let's not kid ourselves. Somebody else has picked up your bills so far. I don't think there are many of you that have had to worry about paying school fees or things like that, even if uh, the parents have a little bit of a challenge, it's a problem. Somebody else, you know, solves that problem. You have your meals. It's quite different from when we were going to school, I must say, where sometimes we had to just manage and understand with our parents, your generation. Um, I think even us as parents would not be very, very kind to you because even where there have been problems, we've shielded you. And I'm, I'm saying that with all sense of responsibility, we've shielded you from reality. So life for you has been relatively easy. And without being rude, you almost have a sense of entitlement, a mentality of being entitled that, you know, everything just happens and, you know, and as I said, you're smart. So most of you have done excellently well at school. You've gone through life with little or no problems. Why do you then need determination? The first reason you need determination is because life happens. Life happens. Even with the best laid plans, even when you plan everything and everything is at your disposal and everything is supposed to work, okay, I do this, I do that. Life sometimes happens and things don't always go as planned. Not because because he has dropped the ball, not because somebody is not doing what they're supposed to do, but simply because life happens. And I have news for you. Life will continue to happen. If you have not experienced it yet, maybe the most you've ever seen is a tiny little bit of challenge in your schoolwork or academics, or you finish and then you're looking for a job, and you don't seem to get the right job and you're getting frustrated because you know this and that and that. But hey, the truth is that that will probably be the least of the problems that you, or the challenges, don't let me use the word problems, the challenges you will face as you go through life. So one major reason why you need determination is because life happens and even the best laid plans as they say sometimes don't work out the way we plan so you need to be determined you need to be resolute you need to have staying power that is one thing that i see as i said is a life skill that your generation needs to have one thing is that you don't have patience for nonsense let me put it that way. You don't have patience when things are not working. In life, Sorry, um, please mute your mics, please. When somebody you... muted me. <laughs> I think somebody muted me mistakenly, but it's okay. Uh, you will still listen to what I'm going to say. <laughs> that was a joke. As I said, um, life happens. And... That's the first reason why you need to be determined because things will not always go as you planned. And it's not enough to try one thing because it's not working, you walk away from it and try the next. There is no guarantee that the next thing will work. Hello, there is no guarantee that that next thing will work. So determination for you is a life skill. It's a coping mechanism that you need to go through life because life will not always go the way you plan or the way you think. So that's point number one. The second reason why you need determination is that going through life itself, being resolute, doing the heavy lifting, 
doing the hard work in making something work is part of the process of being great. Greatness, they say, is a process. It's not an event. You don't become great because somebody handed something over to you or because somebody made everything comfortable for you. You become great by developing character skills, by developing attributes based on what has been handed over to you. And if you go through life and everything has worked out well for you, you've, you know, things have been handed over to you and you've never ever had a challenge, they're reading your resume and somebody's clapping for you. Yeah, you've done great, but I wouldn't call you a great person. A great person is somebody who has taken what life has had to offer, the good, the not so good, and has made something out of it. And as they say, and as I said before, greatness is a process. Is not an event. To become great, to become successful in life, you need to be determined. Why? Because life is a race. And as you race through life, there are those who are cheering you on. There are those who are booing you. You need to know that everyone has their place both the cheerleaders and the naysayers. Why do I say this? And that is why determination comes in. Let's take the easier one. That's my third reason. Why do you need to be a determined person? Why do you need to be resolute? Why do you need to be focused? When you're doing well, everyone will work for you. Success, they say, has many others. Failure is always an offer. So when you're succeeding, when you're doing well, when things are going fantastic for you, you will have many friends. You will have many, um, I say, validations. So if you depend on the validation of human beings, if you depend on the validation of other people, don't get me wrong, validation is very important. You need your mentors. You need the people that um, you need to listen to. You need... People, everybody needs somebody's validation. Everybody wants to be accepted. But don't be distracted by those who are cheering you on. Don't be taken in. Don't let that be your focus. How about the naysayers? How about those who will tell you you can't do it? You should pay more attention to the naysayers. And that's where determination comes in. And I'll tell you a little bit of my own, from my own personal experience. Sorry if my voice is not projecting. I'm just recovering from a major um, bout of, you know what, the, the, the COVID. But don't worry, you can't catch it virtually, so it's fine. Um, when I graduated, I was, I had my I had my, uh, my plans on what I wanted to be. I had my plans. I had, I wanted to be, I was very impressionable. I was about your age and I was quite young when I left university and I was determined to go into the academics because I liked, I thought I liked the academics. I wanted to be a lecturer because my parents at that time worked in the university, so I was already in the university environment. And of course, when I graduated, I thought, okay, the natural course for me was to go and take a master's degree and then eventually a PhD. And then I had an uncle. So I'll give you two examples of two different people who influenced my life, I would say positively <laughs> in the end. So one, one of them was my uncle who was then the vice chancellor of the university. And he said to me, oh, no, 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 to me, you cannot be an academician. Here is somebody who is an academician advising me not to go into academics. And he said, no, 
You can do a lot more than that. I think you should be an accountant. And I thought, what is an accountant? Who is an accountant? What do they do? And I was wondering what this was all about. That wasn't what I planned for my life. But then I listened and I thought, okay, let me pursue this and let me see how this journey was going to end. So grudgingly, grudgingly, I decided to try my hands at a career in accountancy. Um, then just as I was about to start um, the career, just as I was about to start the, um, the article sheet, that's what we called it then. I went to the office of a renowned chartered accountant. If any one of you knows about accounts, you know it's like um, being an SAN and you're, you know, the body of ventures, a big renowned accountant. I won't be able to say his name for obvious reasons. I went with uh, his niece to his office and he said, oh, young lady, I was very tiny. What are you doing? I said, oh, I'm uh, just finishing my youth service, sir. And he said to me, oh, so what's next for you after youth service? I said, oh, I'm going to be an accountant. I'm going to go into an accounting firm and be an accountant. And he took one look at me and said, you, what did you study? I said, I studied English language. He said, no, you can never be an accountant. Yes, he said that to me. And I was like, what? What is this man saying? He said, no, 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 no. Go and do something else with your life. You could never be an accountant. Ah, when I left his office that day, I didn't know how to feel. And I thought, you see, this is what I've been saying. This thing is not going to work. Let me just go and pursue my career in academics quietly and do what is in my space, in my lane. But guess what? That single negative event in my sober moment, you know what it did to me? It made me more determined than ever to pursue that line and prove him wrong. So determination is something that you need when you have a lot of layers around you. When people are telling you, you can't do it, you can't do it, you can't do it. You need determination. So yes, the cheerleaders are good, but the naysayers are even better. Why? Because they give you a push in the right direction. So determination keeps you moving forward in spite of. Determination is transformative. It transforms you from where you are to where you need to be. It's the force that propels you. And nobody else is pushing you. That inner force, when you're determined, when you're resolute, you will give yourself a push even when nobody is pushing you. The other thing that determination does for you is to give you hope. Because you're not just running, you're not just determined, you're not just focused. It's a deliberate effort. It's intentional and it's purposeful. It has direction. You know where you're going and you're pursuing where you're going because you know that this effort is taking you somewhere. Even if nobody else sees it, you can see it and you're determined to pursue it at all, at all costs. So guess what? What that man said to me, he's still alive. And I hope one day I'll have the courage to remind him that I was the young girl that he told would never ever be an accountant. And guess what? He tried much later in life to recruit me and get me to work for him. Well, for an institution that he was involved in, was chairman of. I didn't, he didn't recognize me and I didn't have the courage to remind him that I was that young girl whose dream he almost killed. But guess what? Determination made me pursue that dream in spite of the fact that somebody who was considered a legend in that field told me I could never do it. Don't let anyone steal your dream. 
be determined, be focused, be focused and pursue it with vigor and with energy. That's another thing that your generation has, energy, energy. When you're determined, you put your energy into that goal. You put your physical energy, your spiritual energy, your mental energy, and your emotional energy into what you need to do. I think where your generation tends to drop the ball, and as I said, we're telling each other the truth. Remember, we're not putting each other down. We're just, you know, saying where I think that um, you might need a little bit of help is in the emotional energy bit. You tend to get overwhelmed easily. You tend to almost give up. But when you're determined, when you're resolute, when you have that can-do spirit that you guys always talk about, then even when you're emotionally tired, you pick yourself up and you're ready to go again. Determination, as I said to you, is a life skill in coping with today's challenges. Why do you also need determination? As I said, first thing we said is that life happens. So there will always be bleeps. Second thing we said is that Life is a process. You don't just arrive at a destination. No matter how fantastic and how kind everybody is to you, there is a process and you need to do the heavy lifting. You need to do the work. You need to incubate sometimes. And incubation takes determination and it takes patience. Look at a seed in the ground. When you put a seed in the ground, you don't see it for a very long time. And you're almost giving up on it. I don't know how many of you studied the sciences. You remember those little science experiments you did in primary school where you put a bean or whatever, and you go there every day excitedly. You're watching and you're waiting to see if anything has shot through the soil. If you look at the seed, you will see that when it comes through, it's almost as if it's struggling and it's, it's forcing its way through the soil. That is determination. It has incubated and it's using all its energy to push through. And then what do you see? You see that during the time of incubation, during the time it was quiet, it was actually developing what? Roots. And what you see is the fruit. Determination is when you develop your roots, is when you get a grip of things so that you can then bear fruits and you can flourish. One other thing about determination, I said that it's intentional, it's deliberate, you have to make up your mind. You also need to be determined because of the cheerleaders, but more especially because of the naysayers, because of those who will tell you you cannot do it. Determination also brings a certain discipline that is necessary through life. Determination helps you to build character. When you're determined and you're focused and you stay the course, you build character that is necessary for you to go through life. Determination is also an investment in your own life. When you're determined, when you invest, when you're patient, when you stay the course in spite of, you're making an investment in your own future. You find that there are people, there's nothing wrong in trying different things, but don't leave something because it's not working. Hello, don't abandon things because if they're not working. It's only a child. Leave that for the 10 year olds, the seven year olds, the five year olds. They break a toy and they leave it and go on to the next one. They break it and leave it and go on to the next one. They don't fix anything. 
They break and abandon, break and abandon. No, your generation has what it takes. When things break, you have what it takes. You have everything it takes to fix it. You have what it takes to fix things when things don't go right. So don't just walk away. Stay focused, stay determined, stay resolute to fix it. Fix it until you succeed at it. When you succeed at it, you can then decide that, okay, yes, I have finished this. Now I want to go on to the next thing. But don't quit because it's not working. No. Stay and fix the problem. Quitters never, ever win. Those who win are those who stay the course and fix things. Even in relationships, be determined to fix your relationships. Don't just walk away from relationships because it's easy to just say, you know what? I can't deal. Does that sound like someone? Oh, I can't deal. This is too, um, what's that word that you use? This is not feeding me, right? This relationship is not feeding me. This is high maintenance. Yes, it's high maintenance. <laughs> but you need to make the investment. Why? Because you can't keep walking away from everybody. No man is an island. So in everything, whether it's career, whether it's school, whether it's work, whether it's relationships, be determined to fix things when they are broken. Don't just quit. What are the qualities of people that are determined? What are the qualities of people that are resolute? What are some of the qualities? One, you must be passionate about what you're doing. If you're not passionate about it, then there's no energy to make you focused or to keep you focused. There's nothing to give you that push. There has to be some passion. So if there's no passion, there can't really be determination. There must be something that is pushing you, that is making you determined to succeed in spite of. Don't forget that the whole thing about determination is coming because there is some resistance anyway. So there's something you're fighting. There's something that you need to overcome. So if you are not passionate about it, then it's not worth fighting for, right? Right. So you have to be passionate. Second thing is that you have to be specific in your goals. You can't be all over the place. You can have a thousand interests, but because you're only one human being, you cannot do those 1,000 things at the same time. There has to be some focus. There has to be some priorities prioritization and there has to be some organization some structure and order you cannot be all things you have to plan things and when you're focused it's easier to be determined the other thing is you have to be resilient you have to have staying power i mentioned that earlier you have to persist and you have to have the will or should I say the zeal, and most importantly, the patience to see things through. Patience. Patience with people, patience with processes, patience with our country, hello, patience with us older people, patience when things are not working, patience with processes. That's why it's a process. One thing follows another. And you need patience and tenacity to make sure that you see it. More importantly, you have to have the discipline, the discipline to just keep your eyes on the ball. You need the self-esteem. If you don't have confidence in yourself, then you will be everybody's, um, should I say football? Because you need that discipline you need that self-esteem you need that faith in what you are doing and confidence some level of self-esteem and confidence 
to be determined to stay the course in spite of what everyone else is doing. One area where I want to touch on a little bit is that with your generation, in fact, not just your generation, even in our generation, anything goes. Things that were unheard of when you, we were growing up, they're now normal things. But to yourself, be true. The fact that somebody, one million people are doing something does not make it right, does it? No. What do you believe in? What is your own belief? What are your values? Don't change your values for anyone. Be determined that no, I will, I will retain my values. Yeah, you can have friends who have different values. You can have friends who have different opinions. But please, please, my sons, my daughters, you are not too old for me to talk about peer pressure. You're not. Peer pressure is not just for the teenagers. Your generation is also suffering from peer pressure. There is this competition. Be determined. Bloom where God has planted you. Flourish where God has planted you. Be the best that you can be. Be determined to be the best where you are. Don't compare yourself with other people. No, because you're an individual. Be determined to be the best of yourself, of who God has made you. And don't be swayed by the fact that 1,000 people are going in one direction. If you know for a fact that this is my belief, this is what I hold to be true. This is what I think is right. Then it doesn't matter if the whole world or if all your friends are doing it. You know, sometimes some things are not wrong, but they're just not meant for you. How about that? Some things may not necessarily in themselves be wrong, but they are just not meant for you. So the fact that everybody's doing it doesn't mean that you have to do it. That is determination. Be your own person. Be an individual. Have your own personal brand. Be known for something. What are you known for? What values are you known for? What is Demi known for? What is Somto known for? What is Tobe known for? What is Collins known for? What is Pelumi known for? I mentioned all your names because you're all different people. Benita, you are there. What are you known for? What are your values? And guess what? People will admire you for your values. People will admire you for the things you stand for. They may criticize you, but when you're determined and you're resolute and you stand firm, they will envy you for standing firm and being the person that you are. So never follow the bandwagon, except if the bandwagon is doing something very great and something right. But never ever follow the bandwagon, you know? And that is one thing that I want to encourage you. I want to leave you because I know I have got 30 minutes <clears throat> of which I know I've spent quite a bit. But I want to leave you with a few thoughts. <coughs> Excuse me. There's an, a quote by an unknown author. It says, winners, those who win, they are ordinary people like you, like me, but with extraordinary determination. Those who win, those who succeed in life are ordinary people who have failed before, but guess what? The difference is that they had extraordinary determination. They're not quitters. Determination becomes obsession. And then it becomes all that matters. 
that's also by, it's a quote by someone else. It says determination, sometimes it becomes, you're so determined, it becomes an obsession. And when it becomes an obsession, that's all that matters. You're just determined. So what are you determined about today? What is that one thing that you need to be determined about? What is that? Look at women there. I can give you examples, so many examples of women of men who were determined, who pursued the goal. I'm sure that you can count many yourself. Look at their lives. You will see that the same thread runs through all of them. One, they ignored the cheerleaders. They ignored the naysayers, made them push um, harder. They're not lazy people. They're not quitters. And they fix things when they're broken. And they, you know, yes, it's not that they don't get emotional. They get emotional, but they don't stay down for too long. Determination is that thing that brings you up when you're down. I'll leave you with a final quote. And this is also by an unknown author. It says, you may call it by any name, call it willpower, call it resolve, call it tenacity, call it resilience, or call it determination. However, in the end, what makes the difference between success and failure is the strength of your will and the power of your determination. My beloved children, what makes the difference between success and between failure? between a bright future and between a lackluster future, between the ordinary and the extraordinary, between being distinguished and between being just somebody that just wakapas. You know what wakapas means? African magic. Wakapas is just someone that just walked past. They don't even list their names when they're given the credits. What makes that difference is your determination. I wish you well. I wish you strength. I wish you success in whatever your hands find to do. Don't let anyone kill your dreams. Be determined. Have a good evening. Thank you so much. And Tommy, this that was just the most amazing talk ever. I feel like we're, we were all so blessed, I'm sure. So I'll hand over to you, but I just wanted to start by thanking you so much for this lovely talk. I'm sure we learned so much. So Sunto, over to you. Yes, thank you so much, ma'am, for, um, for your time and for these, all these nuggets of wisdom. Personally, I've just been so blessed by hearing about you know, determination and how personally in your life you went forward with, you know, despite what the Nathia said. And even things you told us about some of the strengths of our generation. And also things we can work on, like um, you know, being determined and emotional intelligence and persevering, et cetera. So thank you so, so much for, for all that you shared with us today. And um, now we're just going to move into a segment of questions. So I'd like mm -hmm. to open the floor um, for anyone that likes to ask any questions now. Feel free to unmute yourself and just go right ahead um, with the questions. Um, if I could ask a question. Um, first, I'd like to thank you so much, ma'am. I really appreciate this. This was honestly a fantastic uh, discussion. Um, my question to you was, um, how do you stay determined when faced with uh, numerous adverse situations, uh, especially as a woman in the financial sector? Uh -huh. Well, um, thanks very much, Judy, for that uh, question. <laughs> it's tough to stay determined. And that's by the very nature of that word, determination. As I said, it means you're fighting something. There's resistance there. First of all, functioning in what was considered a man's world. You guys don't have that problem now because the women are they're giving the 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 men 
a run for their money and they're standing shoulder to shoulder. But when we were starting our careers, it was considered, most professions were considered um, a man's world, let's put it that way. And you see, you find that people um, tend to almost look down at you or even resent you. That's where determination comes. Never allow anybody to make, to put you down. Um, I think it was um, uh, Eleanor Roosevelt that says, nobody can make you feel inferior without your permission. That's determination. <laughs> they can only speak things to you. They can only try to hurt you, but not for long. That should make you more resolute and more determined to succeed. In fact, that should be ad 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 adrenal adrenaline. And for me, how do I stay determined? I'll tell you my own secrets. Number one, I keep my eyes on the ball. What am I trying to achieve? Have I <laughs> experienced a lot of resistance? Oh, I could write a book on resistance. Have I had setbacks? I could write a book on setbacks. I don't want to go into all that now. But how do you stay focused? Number one, it's that you don't have a choice. For me, I didn't have a choice. I just had to survive and I had to, I just needed to keep my eyes on the ball. And that's what kept me going. Secondly, and more, more importantly, I'm glad you asked that question to me because one thing that I didn't mention here is the God factor. The God factor is, in fact, the factor. At the end of the day, it's God that keeps us. It's God that empowers us. It's God that enables us. But he works with what we have inside of us. You know, a lot of people just give up and then expect <laughs> God to help. God will not help when you yourself have given up on yourself. If you are not determined, then you're not going to, people will walk all over you and it will just be, oh, poor me, poor me. So you stay focused and you stay determined in a difficult sector, God helping you, but you also keeping your eyes on the wall and just cheering yourself on in spite of everything. You need to keep away, how I have, survived is I look at what is important to me. I keep away distractions. I don't allow myself to be distracted for too long. If you listen to what everybody is saying, you just be like, as I said, a football being tossed all over the place. This always, and you have to also determine who you want to take advice from or he, who you want to take counsel from. It's not everyone that is meant to be your mentor, no matter how good they are. It's not everyone. So you have to be discerning and you have to know, okay, yeah, this person is saying something good, but it's not for me. This person is saying something negative, but okay, yes, they're saying something negative, but I choose to take what is useful out of it and make it work for me. I think that's, that has been my own coping mechanism. Um, excuse me, can I, I ask a question? Ask the question? Yes, please. Uh, can you guys hear me? Yes, we can. Yeah, we can hear you, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, okay, sure, thank you. Um, first, I want to say thank you for this talk. Secondly, right, um, like we've been on the topic of determination so, so much, right? But my, my question right now is like, how do you know when to quit? Because it's, it's, it's actually like, I don't know when to stop, right? And I'm sure like some other people have the same problem, right? Like the same problems. But like, when do you know when to like leave an endeavor that's no longer like productive or something? Like, that's just my question. 
that's a difficult one because um, <laughs> yes, we say never say never, right? But sometimes part of maturity is knowing when, okay, you've tried everything and you know that this thing is not working, okay? And it depends on what it is. It actually depends on what it is. If you, if you start a business, every business has an incubation period, right? Because you don't start today and then, um, you know, you start making profit or it turns out into a multi-million dollar or naira. You guys don't talk in naira anymore. You denominate everything in dollars, but you don't start today and then, you know, the business grows. Into, you know, there is, as I said, there is a process and an incubation period. So yes, while it's good to be very determined, part of maturity is also knowing when to quit, but quit for what? Quit for what? Are you just going to quit and abandon and then quit at what? That's why I said it depends on what it is. For example, um, let me use two different examples. Okay, so if a, a mother has a business venture that she started, right? And she's tried everything, but the business is not really going anywhere. And she has invested a lot of resources, time, money, energy, everything. And she says, you know what, I'm done. I really don't want to waste my resources. It's her prerogative to take that decision. That's example A. The same mother has a child that she has invested a lot of energy on. A child that has refused to do anything right. A child that has refused to go to school, that has refused to succeed, that has refused to behave properly. She's tried everything. Is it time to quit? Yes, no? Are they the same things? No. One is the business venture that you can walk away from and say, you know what? I've spent a lot of money on this. I've tried my best with this. It's time out. The other is a human being. <laughs> it's something that you have no choice but to keep investing in. So that's why I said it depends on what and it depends on when. What I will say to you is this. Let's start with the what. First of all, you cannot quit at certain things because you just have to keep at it until um, you succeed at it. When you guys get married, for example, by the grace of God, you will all get married one of the things that you will learn is that you can't just walk away from marriages. No. And that's part of the problem, as I said, with not just your generation, but everybody in the world right now. People don't invest in anything anymore. They just don't have the patience. They don't have the discipline. They don't have the willpower. They, don't, they just don't need the stress. So rather than invest, they walk away. The question you need to ask yourself is this, have I really done my best? Have I really, really, really given this my best shot? Have I exhausted every resource that I can invest in this? Have I given this my best? If the answer is yes, then you can move and say, okay, if I quit from this, the resources I've invested in this, will they be better channeled into something else? I think therein lies somewhere in the middle of those three questions. 
lies the answer. But we can't just walk away because things are not working. Yes, there are some things that are more obvious than others. There are some things that are dead on arrival. Am I correct? Yes. There are certain things that the minute you stand, you know, mm, mm, you're not really sure and you're just giving it a shot. And it's obvious that this is not going to work, but mm, that is not determination. That is stubbornness. There's a difference between being stubborn and being determined. Determination is positive. Stubbornness is negative. Two different things, two different approaches, two different results. Okay? I hope I've answered your question somewhat. Toby. Oh, who was it? Okay, you didn't say your name, no, but I Colin. hope I answered your question. Oh, yes. it's, it's Collins. Uh, sorry. Okay, Collins, yeah, I you. hope I answered your question. Yeah, you did. Thank you. Um, thank you so much. Yes, we're going to have another question. We have two more questions. Um, just as we're conscious of the time set for this session. So if we can hear from Ife, and then somebody else was speaking just now. So if you'd like to speak right after, that will be great. Hi, um, really great um, talk, Mrs. Shometh, and really um, inspirational and helpful. Um, you said a lot of things that I'm just like, yeah, that I'm going to like apply that to my life. So thank you very, very much. Um, Gwen and I have a question, we're watching it together, and we were saying that in your um, talk, it sounds like there are different levels of determination and different maturity levels of determination where like there's like the day-to-day -day determination to like, you know, just keep going, keep pushing, and then like the ultimate kind of determination where it's like you need a big push. Like, what would you say is not the most important, Gwen, how would you say it? Like, um, what would you say is the one that took you to the level that you're at today? I think that um, um, Miss Ifesho Mefun, thank you very much for that <laughs> question and for your kind comments. <laughs> Good to hear your voice. And um, what would I say took me? I think that a different, um, you know how you need different vitamins at different times in your life? That's what it is. You need, there are things that you need day to day. And there are things that you need. It's a combination of both. Sometimes um, you, need, you need just that little bit of resolve, just that little bit of determination to get you through the day from one day to the next. I'm sure that there are times even in your young lives that you've had challenges that you know that, you know what? If I can just get through today, then I know that, you know what? I'll keep going. It's too much to even think of six months, one year or whatever. You know, have, have you, do you go through that sometimes? Do you? That it's just a whole lot. Maybe you're in the middle of a big project and you just need that result that, you know what, let me just get through today. If I can just get through today, if I can just have enough strength, enough resolve to go through today, then I know that tomorrow I start again. So I would say that for me, it's a combination of both. There are different levels of resolve. There are different levels of strength that you need for the day's activity, for the week, for the month, for the year even. And then there is that big project in front of you that you know that, you know what, by the time I'm X, Y, Z, I need, you know, there are big goals and there are uh, um, small goals. There are medium-term goals. There are long-term goals. So you need a combination of both. So for me, I would say it's both. There are some times that my survival instincts just kick in and I know that, you know what, if I'm not determined, I'm not going to get through today. I'm not going to get through this project or I'm not going to get, there was a time, I'll, I'll give you an example. 
uh, about 20 years ago, I mean, many of you were probably in, still in primary school, if you were, there was a major um, shift in the finance industry and we were pursuing a license and I was put in charge. And the ultimate goal, just to give you an example, the ultimate goal was that we needed to get that license for the pension fund company. We just had to get that license. But, and that was like a one year project. However, there were different hurdles every day. And I'm telling you, this was an intense, energy sucking, tearful, emotional roller coaster project. So for me, going to work every day, I would just say, God, just give me the strength I need to survive today and not give up. And then at the end of the day, it's like, whew, we did that. How did we get through today? And then we start again. But you know, our eyes were on the ultimate, I don't know if I'm making sense. Our eyes were on the ultimate goal, but we needed that energy. We needed that firepower every single day while keeping our eyes on that big goal, we needed that survival instinct just to survive every single day. And I want to say that, you know, each of us will pass through life having that. Sometimes it's just that big goal. It could be, oh, I just need to get through school. And that's your big thing, okay? But when you get through school, you may have a family, you may have work, you may have a combination of things. And all you want to do is just to succeed, just to have that thing that doesn't exist and you'll soon find out that it doesn't exist, work-life balance, there is no such thing. So don't let them deceive you. But sometimes you're just juggling balls and you just want to survive. And that becomes your obsession. Let's put it that way, that I just want to succeed at all these three things. Hi Gwen, hi Yves. I just want to succeed at all these three things. So sometimes you have small goals, you have small determinations that feed into that big determination or that big goal. So yes, you need a combination of everything and in different measures at different times. So sometimes all you need is just that strength to go through the day, okay? Did I answer your question? Yes, very yes, well. Thank did. you very much. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah I think that was um, yeah, great. And again, it relates to the topic for today, which is determination. So um, yeah, I'd just like to thank you, Ms. Mrs. Shumansan, for attending today and for honoring our invite. And um, again, it's such an honor having you from the Future Leaders Network. It's been such an honor um, exchanging and hearing from you. So thank you so much. And um, yes, that is for today. And we look forward to some other time. Thank you very much for having me. I hope uh, I've learned a few things from even just watching your faces and listening to some of your questions. And I want to say that I wish you all very well. Remember, don't let anyone kill your dreams and just keep on pushing, keep on pushing. Determination, you know, there's one cliche, determination they say is the key to success. It's not a lie, it's true. Determination is the key to success, but success is defined in many ways. Sometimes knowing when to quit is success, Collins, to answer your question. Knowing when to quit is success, okay? But don't quit until you've given it your best shot. Have a very nice evening. Thanks for having me and God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank you. Um, thank you. 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 Thank you
all our lives. And I'm sure that everyone has been blessed and enriched with this session. Um, the session will be available um, on our platform if you follow at Future Leaders NG. Um, you should be able to access this, um, especially if you weren't here on time, you, you wouldn't have missed anything. So make sure to go and watch it in your own time. So thank you so much, um, Mrs. Tomi Shumafun, for this, this session. It was amazing. So I pray that you have a great rest of your weekend. Um, thank you everyone for joining and we will see you next time. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye everyone. Bye.